Hey all, today we are going to discuss about oral infections such as cellulitis. It is basically a space infection and uh, it is also known as phlegmon. It is basically a diffuse inflammation of soft tissues. So it is a diffuse inflammation. It is not confined to one area. Whereas the abscess is localized, but uh, cellulitis is not a localized infection. It tends to spread through tissue spaces and along the fascial planes. This is the important uh, fact about cellulitis. Okay, It is different from abscess because abscess is basically localized, but cellulitis it's, it tends to spread through tissue spaces. The causative agent behind cellulitis is microorganisms such as streptococci, prevotella, porphyrominas. The microorganisms can be aerobic or anaerobic, right? The streptococci is basically aerobic bacteria. The microorganisms, therefore, will produce enzymes such as streptokinase, hyaluronidase, and fibrinolysins. These enzymes will dissolve hyaluronic acid. It is an intercellular cement. So basically, it is a intercellular cement universal intercellular um, cement you can say right and also fibrins right this way um, it causes the microorganism will cause cellulitis the etiology can be dental infections or um, such as apical abscess or after osteomyelitis um, cellulitis can occur or after pericoronitis as a sequel uh, cellulitis can occur falling tooth extractions right injection with infected needle or on infected area may also cause cellulitis after that injectables of tissue fillers which is used by cosmeticians right nowadays is very trendy so if it is infected so it will also may cause cellulitis Now the clinical features of cellulitis. The patient will be moderately ill. There will be elevated temperature, right? Painful diffuse swelling will be there, which would be uh, firm and brawny, right? This uh, swelling will be mostly due to inflammatory edema, Infl inflammatory edema due to accumulation of fluids, basically. The overlying skin is inflamed. If the infection is superficial, then the overlying skin is inflamed and uh, the skin will appear as orange peel, right? The skin will have orange peel appearance. If the spread, spread of infection is in deeper planes, then the overlying skin may appear normal, right? Regional lymphadenitis may also take place. Now, if the infection involves the maxilla that is above the vaccinator attachment, the swelling will appear on the upper half of the face which will diffuse on entirely over the facial area and it may cause spread towards our eye which is very dangerous because it may involve cavernous sinus thrombosis. But if uh, if the infection will involve the mandible that is below the vaccinator attachment. The swelling will appear on the lower half of the face and it will spread superiorly as well as cervically. Right. Now, if typical facial cellulitis persists, it will cause infection frequently tends to become localized. Right. If the infection becomes localized, it will turn into abscess. That is, facial abscess may form. In, so, if the facial cellulitis persists, it will transform into abscess soon. Now, the histological features of cellulitis. These are diffuse exudation of polymorphonuclear leukocytes. These are prominently seen or more pronounced. In cellulitis and very rarely lymphocytes are also seen. 
serous fluid and fibrin are also seen serous fluid that is basically inflammatory edema which is um, seen so this is basically edematous uh, fluid serous fluid is seen in um, histological features and basically a non-specific picture of diffuse acute inflammation is seen in the histology basically the treatment is um, normal like antibiotics should be given and anti-anaerobics should be given because there are um, basically microorganisms that are the main causative agent of cellulitis so antibiotics and anti-anaerobics should be prescribed to the patient the patient is advised not to massage the affected area this will cause spread of infection if the patient will keep on uh, massaging the affected area it will cause the spread of infection so patient is advised not to massage the affected area thank you